Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another fun way to kind of showcase traditional origami. And um, I thought we'd do another display or shikishi. Um, and this is a kind of board that you can get in Japan. And we use this for calligraphy, for origami presentations, for special notes when people graduate or leave a school, all sorts of different things. It's usually a standard size like this. It has this little speckled background with the gold around the outside. And then usually the front is white. Now I've done, uh, taken a couple of layers of a handmade paper that I got in Korea and uh, laid it down here to kind of create a scene. And I thought it'd be cool to use the seal or sea lion uh, or origami, traditional origami to kind of have the little guy sitting here looking out at the ocean. Um, I'm a big fan of seals, so <laughs> this one's kind of a fun one to do. Plus, just kind of seems, um, you know, with the weather getting warmer, I don't know, I just think of walking along the beach a little bit in California or Oregon and stuff like that and seeing these guys. So, um, but anyways, yeah, we got a little bit of strip of sky, a little bit of ocean, and a little bit of like kind of rock and then muddy beach or whatever you will have you. But, uh, and then I was going to just show you guys, review the steps of how to make the uh, sea lion or the seal. And uh, we can then put him on here. Um, just kind of a fun thing. You could use a lot of these guys and have a whole bunch of them there. Like some of the beaches get kind of crazy with them. You can play around when you make this and make the different positions for the tr for the seal too. So I'll kind of show you guys. I just realized my background is not a good color to be using for this because it's gray. Um, let me get a piece of paper. I'm just going to put this down here just in case I can't see, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but um, this is some nice handmade paper I got from a local paper maker here where I live. Uh, really nice, pretty stuff. So I want the part that's not as shiny actually to be my considered my front. So with that part facing down, I want to go ahead and fold my paper into a big triangle here. And I want to do this both ways. Then open it up and I'm going to take, looking at it like a diamond, I'm going to take the top outer edge and roll it down towards the center. And do the same thing with the other side too. So we have something that looks like this, nice little kite shape. Flip it over and then just take the tip and fold it up. Now there's a crease already there, so this should be fairly easy to do. You're just folding it up to the top. Flip it over again, and then I'm going to use these, take these little pockets, and there's already the diagonal crease to help me here. I'm going to push this down and out so that this part comes straight out. And then you're just going to make sure that this part, when you fold it in, is a nice straight crease right along the edge there as much as you can. And I'll do the same thing with this side too. so that we get something like this. Take the first flap and fold it straight down so that this whole part opens up nice and clean into the center here. Turn it over, and I've got these nice little flaps down here, and I wanna take and fold each of these outer edges into this center line here. And we're gonna just fold one right on top of the other here. It doesn't really matter. If it's bobbing, you can even open it up once and fold just this one. It feels like it's a little tight. Get both of those started, and then we can just fold everything in half down like this. and get these parts folded down. Turn it over, and we've got what's going to be the little flippers for the seal there. And then I'm gonna take this, fr this front area here and reverse it up. And I basically am gonna create a crease that hits right at the edge of where that, uh, f the flippers meet. You're gonna start reversing it, and then you can really play with the uh, spacing of the angle of the head. You can kind of goof around with how much you wanna have for that. The angle that you'd like to have for that. It's just kind of up to you guys, you know, if you want the head sticking out more. I'm just going to find a place here to kind of stop it, like so. And then I could take this part and fold it out. And it's going to kind of look like a bird beak. And you could choose, you know, how long you want the neck to be. I don't want it to be super long here. So I'm just going to kind of bring it over like so. 
And then of course we don't want it to look like a beak. So if I kind of open this part up a little bit here, I've got this nice little kite shape, I can fold this part back to create a nose. And you can kind of play around with it and see until you get the shape of the nose that you like so that you can get kind of a cute little sea lion head there. And then for the back part here, I'm going to go ahead and take, and you can kind of see a nice little crease here that comes out. I'm just going to kind of match to that as a point of pre preference um, to just kind of bring the tail up the same way we did the head. And in this case, I'm going to try to shoot for about a 90 degree angle with the back slope there. Now you could change this, of course. You can uh, alter the, the tail section. You can make the head different. But this just kind of gives us a nice little beginning part here for our sea lion. And if I've got my background here, I was just going to have him kind of hanging out here. <laughs> And you know you could kind of just choose any angle or positioning that you like for that, but put a little bit of glue on him. Um, if it's bothering you that it's you know popping open weird, you can put a little bit of glue on the inside and try to keep things closed off. I'm I'm gonna actually probably do that for this one. I'm not gonna glue the whole thing, but I am just gonna put a little bit of glue here to kind of keep my body closed off here a little. And you can also just leave things smushed under a heavy book for a while uh, too if you want to kind of keep things flat that usually helps get some glue on this whole part here Find a good little location for him And that should give you a nice little completed scene with our seal or sea lion looking out at the ocean there. Now if you do want to sign off your work, you can do that as well. I'm just going to put a stamp right up here in the upper. Oh, where should I put it? Mm, down here. You can kind of play around with where you want that to be. but. And that can give you a fun little quick and easy way to display some origami. These make great gifts for people and stuff for a special occasions, somebody who likes seals, those kinds of things. Um, I'll try to have some more fun projects like this to share with you guys in the future. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!